That is your karma. <laughs> See, you can choose to eat whatever you want, isn't it? You can… <laughs> you can eat rice grown in Tamil Nadu, Tamil manna will become part of you. So if you eat chapati, maybe Punjabi mutti <laughs> is becoming part of you. These days, people are eating fruits that come from New Zealand. Maybe you're slowly, slowly you know, acquiring the karma of a kangaroo <laughs> because kangaroo manure has gone into it. Yes. So, it is all the same earth, but you can choose which part of the earth you can make it a part of you, isn't it? So similarly, it's all the same energy, but you can make something else out of it. Everybody ate rice only probably today, but not everybody is the same because you're given the freedom to do whatever you want with it. With the same earth, you can produce rice, you can produce wheat, you can produce ragi, you can make a mango, you can make a coconut, you can make whatever, isn't it? So with the same energy, you made it like this, he made it like that, I made it like this, he made it like that, same energy. This is why we said, the way you are is your karma, that means it's your doing. This is the only culture which is very, very clear that the way you are is not God's doing, the way you are is your doing. It's your karma means it's do your doing. Creation is not your doing, but the way you are, the way you're experiencing life, what you're attracting, what you're getting into is one hundred percent your doing. It is your karma. So right now, you look at yourself, if you don't like the way you are, do the right karma. Yes. You've not done the right thing, that's all. If you're right now sitting like this, you want to sit like this, come here three months, I'll tell you what you should do, you will sit like this. Yes? So, if you sit like this, it's called a pyramid, you know. Pyramids were built for the dead, not for the living. If you've taken the shape of a pyramid, you must understand this is the abode of the dead, this is not the abode of the living. The living has to be housed in a beautiful house, yes? The dead can be put up in a pile of rocks which we call a pyramid. So if you're growing into the form of a pyramid, you must work it out. It's your karma, this is also your karma, this is also your karma. Joy is also your karma, misery is also your karma. Isn't it wonderful? Your life is your business and nobody's business. Is it not wonderful? No? Is it not wonderful your life is your business and nobody's business? You can make whatever you want out of it. Is it not wonderful? There cannot be more compassion for someone as small as you. In this creation, who are you? You're a sp tiny speck. To you, this much freedom has been given that you can shape your life the way you want it. Isn't this fantastic? Isn't this the ultimate compassion? 
Oof means you're gone. But to you, who is not even like a worm in this cosmos, you're like a speck of dust. To you, so much freedom has been given that you can shape your life the way you want it. If you want, you can become godlike. If you want, you can become just a lump of earth. Whatever you choose, it's left to you. Is it not wonderful? Is it not wonderful? Absolutely wonderful, isn't it <laughs> So it's your karma.